Yo, 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 this is Gabriel from Motivated Painters. I am here to tell you something. Do not panic. The time lapses are for your enjoyment. I will not stop making a once a week video of this full in depth um, things that we're all going to learn from. So please be nice. Be nice. Take it easy, man. I'll continue to bring value to you, okay? So don't worry. That's all I have to say. Enjoy this video. See you next time. Motivated Painters Nation. It's your boy. It's your friend. It's your homie. Tu amigo. Gabriel Merino. Ready to kick butt, as I always say, on another one. Uh, of this videos that I hope will be useful to you now first things first as you'll hear me on each and every single video wash 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 keep this stuff clean you see that horse there I have blown the crap out of that horse so blow the horse really 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 well um, you want to make sure that you're cleaning the paper very very well including the car some guys don't do this because they get lazy or they think that it takes a little bit more time but the time that it saves you polishing is worth it so as you can tell I am cleaning very well in the little cracks and, and nooks and crannies there and I'm making sure that that's really clean and then I'm wiping the stuff off because when you wipe in when you wipe on with the I use prime wash this is the cleaner that I use from PPG and you gotta wipe on with that stuff and then wipe it off with a clean rag because that's what's gonna get the stuff out of the panel so onto your rag so there I go blowing again I'm using uh, PPG tack cloth I, I honestly I haven't used a tack cloth that I like yet so I just use this ones because uh, they work um, I'm using uh, Optima spray gun I really enjoy this gun I got um, I got it to do some testing on it and I'll be doing a review on it eventually whenever I get time but the key to this video I want you to realize is you see how I'm spraying I'm spraying towards the bumper alright so I'm, I'm limiting like I told you guys on the live feed on Saturday you must spray towards the repair all the time okay always spray towards the repair it's extremely important that you know that that way you will limit the overspray you will limit um, all the the things that can go wrong when you uh, go over too much and you make the repair too big by keeping the repair small you're going to uh, get rid of sand piling you're going to have a lot less sand piling especially with high metallic colors like this one so I put two coats one uh, nice and light coat and then followed by a heavy coat just to get some coverage under now I'm using my blower to uh, dry it if you need one of these blowers I have green ones that's the only color I have but I have green ones I sell them for 25 bucks shipped US dollars um, to wherever you are so you can email me on that at motivatedpainters at gmail.com that's motivatedpainters at gmail.com I got a lot of guys asking me for these blowers on Instagram so I thought I mentioned it here for you guys um, as you can tell it makes the drying process so nice it makes a drying process so fast so now I'm gonna put down the uh, pressure to 18 uh, psi and as you can see I'm going a little bit faster and I'm going a little bit farther away now you wanna make sure that when you're doing this control coat you're off the panel you want to make sure that you are far away from the panel not too close so as you can see it's not going on wet it's going on nice and light you don't see any wet spots or anything like that and watch me release the trigger that's so important releasing the trigger is so important because that way you can limit the amount of uh, stuff that goes to where you're not where you're not wanting it to go and that way when you put your clear on then you don't have uh, those little bumps that you could sometimes see when you haven't uh, kept your colors small and you have so much overspray of the base 
Now, as you can see, I am going off the panel. This is very important that I don't mention it enough. I go off the panel, so you can tell I'm basically clearing the, the paper right there. But there's a reason behind that. It's because I want to make sure that not only do I get the edges, but I get um, a little bit of clear on the paper, and I will control the dust, believe it or not. So I did three passes on the top there. So as you can tell, I'm clearing the, the paper right there. You see that? Right there. Okay? So And that will ensure that I'm getting the whole panel as well. So I'm not going to get dry spots or anything like that. And as you can tell there, I'm going off the panel. Alright? Remember that. If you take anything away from this video, always paint towards the... Do the panel and then go off a little bit. Maybe five fingers or something like that. And I, I'm sure that it's going to help you so much so yeah that's a little short one for you this week like I said I'm going to continue to make videos so do not panic don't put mean comments because uh, then I'd rather you just unsubscribe because I don't spend hours and hours editing so you can complain about something and that's just my honest opinion but for the guys that are always there you know supporting me and commenting I am so grateful you guys have no idea if if some of you guys know me, you know that I work hard on these videos and I put a lot of time and effort into them. So I, I'm, I just want to say thanks for that. So that's the way that it looks. No modeling. You can't see the blend. You can see that, you know, on the paper, you can see where I finished the blend and it looked great. I didn't even have to polish this thing. And uh, it was it was so good. Uh, another thing I want you to, re to really get to know here is that edge there. That inner edge, if you don't put enough clear on that, that will start peeling. So make sure that you check your edges. Don't be like me that I miss them sometimes. So there's the car all put together. Nice. I want to try to get you guys more uh, pictures of cars put together. Thank you so much. See you next time. Before I go, I wanted to ask you guys for a favor. Share this video. Share this page. I will going, I'm going to do a giveaway worth $200. You're going to be blown away by all the stuff that I'm going to give away. It's going to be huge. So I ask you, share this. And from me, your friend, Gabriel, I want to show my appreciation for all your support by give, doing this giveaway. So that's going to be coming up in the next few weeks. It's a one-year anniversary of the YouTube channel, Motivated Painters, and I am excited. So... I hope that you can share that with me and that you can share the channel so we can keep impacting more people and that we can keep adding value to all the painters around. Guys, the best things are given away when you have knowledge and you give it away and people realize that and people acknowledge that. Uh, the tide, When the tide races, all ships race with it. So that's what I wanted to tell you guys. Take care. Have a blessed rest of the Sunday and I hope you enjoyed this video. There's way more to come. Don't you worry.